I got a round trip transcontinental ticket to New York for only $285, but it says basic economy. Let's see how it works flying on a cheaper fare. <laughs> My first leg is Sacramento to Los Angeles on board United Express. So I'm flying a smaller jet, which is a CRJ700 on this one hour flight to LA. Check-in can be done by using the self-service check-in kiosk, which means you need to also print your luggage tag and pay for bag fees using this machine. Uh, it is standard that your first check-in bag is $30 and $40 on your second bag. Since I'm flying on basic economy ticket, this means I have to pay extra for seat assignment, pay for luggage, trolley bags are not allowed to carry on board. This means only smaller bags can be brought on the cabin. The ticket is non-refundable. Lastly, if you, if you get a last priority to board the aircraft. So if the flight is overbooked, there is a chance you may not make it to your flight. So still, I took the chance not to upgrade to a regular economy and fly straight to New York on basic economy. It is my first time flying the Bombardier CRJ700 aircraft. Our aircraft has just arrived from Denver, Colorado, and it is operated by SkyWest for United We're Express. Use the this aircraft has a total of 79 seats with 6 first class, 16 economy class, and 48 regular economy seats. Boarding commenced at gate A14, and since we're on basic economy, we're the last group of people to board the aircraft. And it's a full flight, so no choice. Your carry-on items must be stowed under the seat in front of you. <laughs> Boarding the aircraft, I can feel the size of it since it has a very low ceiling and the aisle is also narrow. First class is in a 1-2 configuration while economy has a 2-2 seating configuration. It only has 30 inches of legroom but it's fine on this short one hour hop to Los Angeles. There were no power outlet nor a personal IFE, however you can connect to the United Wi-Fi and stream movies using your mobile device. I also flew on a shorter version of this aircraft which is a CRJ200 on a Delta connection from Atlanta. You may want to check that out. Since we're on basic economy fare, seat assignment is not complimentary and I have to pay around $8 for this leg for me to have a good seat. So we're almost ready to go. If you're using large portable electronic devices such as DVDs and laptops, they must be powered down so that we have better ready to see in front of you. You may continue to small limit. So we're gonna wait a minute just wrapping up the paperwork. Uh, it'll be a quick one, 59 minutes or less en route. Thanks for flying with us. Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm gonna take great care of you. Captain's Captain Cobb and First Officer Lee. Once again, a friendly welcome aboard. Great flight. While well, service is our passion, safety is our top priority. So please take a minute to review the safety card in your seat back pocket. Please
please also pay attention to the following safety demo, even if you are a frequent flyer, as each aircraft type is different device to use. Pull the cushion from the seat, place your arms through the straps, and grab your wrists. Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying lavatory smoke detectors and drinking personal alcohol. Smoking and using these cigarettes. We took off at around 10.36 a.m. By the way, United flies three times daily from Sacramento to Los Angeles using this aircraft. Since it's a short flight, service may be limited. Let's try to connect to the United Wi-Fi. Streaming or watching movies or TV series, it's complimentary, and I can say that there are plenty of great film selections to choose. However, due to the short flight, it's impossible to finish an entire movie. He can also connect to the internet for $8.99 for a full flight service. However, the speed is quite slow and browsing on YouTube or any videos online or on the internet is not possible. In the middle of the flight, our cabin steward offered us a cup of water. Due to the short distance of this flight, only water is provided. He then provided us a snack with a choice of pretzel, cookie, or waffle. It's a full flight and the steward was really doing a good job providing the snacks and drinks. He wasted no time as it's only a short flight. What I like the most is his attitude of being polite and approachable. He, cur he certainly loves his job as a captain. Uh, please return your seats, make sure the seatbelts are secure. Thank you. Using the United app, I can check the flight progress, which means we're already near our destination, which is Los Angeles. Also, using the app, you can check your arrival gate information and the baggage claim information of your arrival in Los Angeles. This is very helpful. As we are flying around the Los Angeles area, it's time to give a review on this United Express flight. I was surprised by this short flight and on a commuter aircraft, they serve complimentary snacks. Also, despite an eye flow on basic economy fare for less than $300 round trip fare from West Coast to East Coast, it's really a great bargain. The only negative side of this flight is on a low fare, I am unable to use or earn miles using my Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer account. The flight left on time and it was uneventful. For the first leg of this flight, I can say I'm very pleased with this trip. I would like to commend as well the flight stewards on this flight as they're very approachable and engaging. They seem to love and they're very passionate with their job as a cabin crew. Total flight time is one hour and I do hope you enjoy watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe and get notified as I'll be connecting to Newark 
on board the Boeing 777-200 of United. Have you ever tried flying basic economy? How did it go? Let me know on the comment section. For now, safe travels everybody! Los Angeles local time is 11.37. We'll be taxiing in for the next couple minutes. So we do ask that for your safety and you remain in your seats with those seatbelts fastened until we depart at the gate and the captain has turned off that seatbelt sign.